Pensacola's music scene. It's full of a variety of genres, full of unique, diverse people, and full of, most of all, hope. What I love personally about the music scene in Pensacola is the connectedness of our community. Strangers who have come together, accepted one another, and shared mutual passions, inspiring each other. Why each of us join the scene varies. Some of us just like the music. Live music truly brings an artist's energy to life. Seeing music live, it's a different type of experience internally. But some of us love the people, the friendships made, the high of each moment while being at a show. Some of us, though, have a dream. A dream to be heard, a dream to be recognized. I want you to ask yourself, if you're involved in Pensacola's scene, what's your reason? Truly ask yourself, from what place internally motivates you? Are you personally prioritizing your own self-image, your ego? Are you chasing a high, searching for validation? When I joined the scene, my first impression of the scene was how mesmerizing it was, that all of these people I had never met before all knew each other and joined together practically each week and just carelessly danced. I was inspired by all of these individuals chasing their passions, pushing themselves to create, to make something of themselves. All of these people I was observing were of different ages, diverse in their own way. Photographers, videographers, musicians, vendors, from art to their small businesses. I was inspired. But what I was not aware of joining the scene was the shadow of it all. The shadow of the scene is those of us with such a desire to be recognized that we prioritize the ego, our own self-image, chasing the highs of the scene just to feel something. I admittedly fell into that shadow for a moment of my experience. Depressive states of consciousness creep in when we're absolutely convinced that we're thriving. Posts on Instagram, photos of us, enjoying our time, just to return home empty, awaiting the next high. Your true worth is not some ego facade. Sure, life's about pleasure, what's enjoyable, feeling all the highs and lows, embrace them. But in 10 years, you're going to look back at this moment in time and you're gonna weigh out whether it was time wasted or if the experience was something that you've built from. The scene is fun, but you can perceive it as a tool for growth. Now I want you to ask yourself, are you building yourself? Or are you breaking yourself? Before I joined the scene, I had come from a smaller-minded environment. I was awestruck spectating others chasing their dreams that the spark to push myself to leave my comfort zone had finally ignited. I noticed those around me took their pain, the trauma they've endured, and converted it into creation. The beginning of 2022 is when I decided that I wanted to provide that same feeling of inspiration in others. Now's your chance! Now is my chance! Thank you! <laughs> to a whole bunch of strangers! So, hello! I am Lee! I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you. Everybody in here has gone through their own journey. We have gone through very, very dark times. And I feel like we all have an outlet. And regardless of what your outlet is, your outlet is, is subject to you and your being. And regardless of what that outlet is, it makes you unique to your own spirit. It makes you unique to your own individual. And it serves as therapy. But I really do want to encourage everyone in their uniqueness to continue to make use of their, their outlets. As you can probably tell, I nervously struggled to find the words for what I was trying to explain. But after a year of experience, I believe I can finally formulate exactly what I was attempting to display. You see, when I was introduced to the creative community, I started off vending and live painting. At first, I was making a lot of profit, watching myself finally start to make progress. The more shows I live painted for, the less I felt nervous, and my curiosity led me away from my booth and into the crowd. Insecurity struck me as I watched my profit decrease, so I put my art down and just began to attend shows and growing connections with people. But as I briefly mentioned before, you are a product of your environment, what you surround yourself with, who you surround yourself with. I was lucky enough to meet a group of individuals who are now my best friends, who inspire me, who push me to do better, who 
who team up with me in creative endeavors. When you surround yourself with people who love you for who you are, and you all have similar goals, you're likely to succeed at whatever you put your mind to. These are the people who keep you away from those negative coping mechanisms, like I was saying before. But what's beyond the ego, hidden beneath the surface of consciousness, lies your soul. The soul is driven by your subconscious. What are all these things, you may ask? The ego. A person's sense of self-importance. The ego. Serving as an organized conscious mediator between the person and reality. Functioning both in the perception of and adaptation to reality. Big words, hard to process. Let's break it down. The ego is how you view yourself from an external perspective. If you were a separate entity, standing in front of yourself, the ego resembles the act of consciously self-criticizing your image as well as your social standard. This world's not so black and white, but it's easy to fall into that perception, allowing our ego to become inflated or deflated. It leaves us with a heightened sense of self-importance, or it leaves us empty, feeling worthless. The ego, to some extent, is necessary in the human experience. It helps us classify what exactly our needs and wants are. But there must be a balance between your black and white thinking. And desire is the root of all suffering. The subconscious. We aren't innately aware of what goes through our subconscious mind. The conscious mind is what consistently is so active, but our subconscious mind holds on to early childhood beliefs, trauma, memory, values. Most of the time, this place in our minds seems so unreachable, but it's not. Our minds are powerful, and if we gain the ability to redirect our conscious behaviors, we automatically begin to rewrite the subconscious, allowing us to gain a new perspective, shifting away from the needs of the ego and into the needs of the soul. The soul holds purpose. The soul is not worried about desire. The soul wants to create, to be present, to love and be loved. But you may ask, how do I remain in touch with my soul when my subconscious is triggered and afraid? Use those negative feelings and find balance by converting that fear into creation. This is what inspired me initially in the scene, but I realized art is not where creation ends. You can create a whole new reality for yourself. Stop believing you can't control yourself. You can. It won't happen overnight, but darkness, anger, toxicity, your inner world will always reflect your outer world. Always. Stop wasting your time. Start a new life today. It all starts with you. It starts with what you truly put your focus to. Who cares how you look if you're happy doing it? Get off of social media. Be in the moment. Be vulnerable. Be open. Be aware. Be here right now. Just a slight perception change, and it's mind-blowing how quickly growth takes place. So stop stagnating and create. How are we looking now? I'm stoked. <laughs>